change the color of something that's already there. So I'm going to do it for two things. I'm going to change the color of something in the picture and of furniture I'm bringing in. So using the lasso tool, I'm going to trace out my awesome floors. And I'm going to change them to be a darker hardwood. Okay. When you get the marching ants, just copy and paste to always have a new layer. In case you don't like it, then you always have the original. You don't want to change the color of the original. Um, so to change the color, it's Command U as an Uber Command U. And you'll pop up this colorization box. You guys used it in grade seven to adjust the color of pictures then, but just a quick refresher. You should select the color box, which allows you to choose a color. The first line is your hue. The next line is your intensity of your color. And the next line is your lightness to darkness. Please don't mess too much with the lightness to darkness. You have it set based on the exposure of the picture. We don't want to mess with that too much. Um, and again, remember your color scheme. I said I was going to do a hardwood floor, so I want to make sure I'm kind of sticking with the realm of my color scheme. Otherwise, it's going to look a little distorted. So I'm sticking to the color scheme I previously selected. Um, it's a little bit darker than the original. And I say OK. Um, and then you'll see you have the old and the new. If you have these finicky edges from just your tracing, you can just use your eraser tool um, to erase it when you have a normal size eraser. Uh, so you don't have to have the little edges, you can just erase anywhere it goes over and voila. So if you do have any errors, I'm doing a quick tracing like I did and that'll fix it. So you have your awesome new hardwood floors. The next thing I'm going to ask is how to change the color of furniture. So I'm going to place a chair in here. I believe I have a chair on my desktop. That yeah, looks good. Um, and I said in my color scheme my furniture was going to be a bluish couch. So let's do it. Command T lets me resize it. Place it where it needs to go. Zoom into there. Let me just erase the white parts. I'd rasterize the layer. Poof, poof, poof. Done and done. Okay, so <coughs> I have my chair. If I'm changing the color of the whole thing, Command U and colorize, but then you're changing the whole color of the whole thing. Uh, not always the prettiest thing. So I'm going to change the color of my cushions by tracing out the color of the cushions. So I am going to do kind of a cheeky thing here. I'm going to duplicate this layer. The bottom layer is where I'm going to trace out the color of the cushion. And the reason I've done this is so I don't have to trace it in two parts and try and guess what the color is each time. That can sometimes be tedious. But if I actually change the color of the bottom layer, um, I could just erase the part. Where you don't want to change it. So there's a lot of ways to do this. You don't have to be as neat all the time. So here, this one here, I'll change the color up to the blue. Um, add my blue, and I'm gonna hide that upper layer so you can see what the heck is going on. Command U, and then I'll add that blue color I was looking for, like in my color scheme. But see, I'm getting the armchair here blue. It's totally fine. Um, because we're gonna change it in the end. So I'm looking for my blue color. All right. Um, and now I go back to that original layer. And I'm just going to grab, same deal. You can trace out the inverts now, or you can use the eraser tool. Now, the reason why I didn't just trace it out the first time as two pieces and add the color separately is because sometimes it becomes hard to guess and apply the same color twice. Uh, it says a number, but even when you use the number, it isn't the number it says it is. There you go. 
So I'm just tracing out the other part to delete it. So when I trace out the colored part I'm no longer using, okay, hello, it's my child screaming. When I trace out the part I'm not using, I can easily delete it. So I get my marching ants and hit delete. And then when I'm being finicky, I can zoom in there and fix the edges with my friendly eraser to neaten it up. But if you try to guess this color blue and then this color blue, uh, sometimes, sometimes, it's hard to match it. So I don't recommend it. If you're doing the whole thing, easy, just, or if you want to do just the arm just one at a time, again, now it looks a little more realistic. So that's how you would change the color of two pieces of furniture.